So this was a Cat 1. Our winds were an average of 85 miles an hour, and then we had gusts of over 105 miles an hour. So you are looking at some uh, a pretty heavy duty hurricane that hit right through the center of my town, the eye of the hurricane. And we were really expecting this to be a nothing burger, but it turned out to be pretty sad. So it looks like we're not gonna have schools open or even electricity for quite some time. Anyway, just taking a little trip through my town here. Wanna see how bad the damage is. I just passed uh, some really bad damage and didn't film it, but uh, maybe on the way back. So, and this part here, this is our plaza. I wanna see how bad this is. If this is safe, we're good. If this is where the people's nope. plaza is. Yeah, it's nice. The trees are still up. The trees are still up and... Uh, some of them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, some of them are crashed. Anyway, Island Prepper, out for now. So anyway, here we are. The town is uh, pretty much devastated pretty badly. Uh, thank God the people here <laughs> are used to this and, uh, and ready. I already seen all the, uh, whoever our mayor is here, he's already sent out all the garbage trucks there's a National Guard right now. You can't see it because my window's so uh, fogged up. Let me see. Okay, so anyway, uh, it looks like, there we go. I got the tilt here. But it looks like we got a lot of devastation. Uh, apparently brand new light poles uh, fell on, uh, fell down the areas that we're doing new construction we're rebuilding our entire grid system here and it looks like one year into the rebuild it's already down so that's what happens when you pay for the lowest bidder i guess right uh, i'm going to see if uh, our little supermarket is open here if it is go in and get some fresh bread uh, but i doubt it anyway looking at some posts up in front of me that are all bent out of shape out of shape. I guess that's why we have no power right now. That goes to our house. It's all good inside here. Alright, so this is a little bit louder because this is my black Mac tucked under there. And what I did this time is I connected the black Mac to the house. So I'm running the entire house on 120. And I'm also charging this at 800 watts. So I got them both connected to the same thing. So as soon as this one charges, I'm going to reconnect that one, and we're good to go. This way I'll be, I'll be filling them all with the same generator instead of running two generators like I did the last time. Anyway, getting these puppies uh, ready to work right. So this is day two after Maria. I mean, uh, after uh, Fiona. And the thunderstorm and rain we had last night was almost as bad as the actual hurricane itself so this is crazy it has been now we're going on almost 40 hours of non-stop raining raining and monsooning because it is really hard rain wow so it looks like we might have a ray of sunshine. Let's see. There's some reflecting there. Anyway. Let's see if we can get some luck here. Okay, Island Prep. I usually don't do this. But I had to do this. We're at Sam's Club. Talk about empty shelves. Let me put you on pause. Look at that. Empty, empty. 
Empty shelves. They didn't even bring them to the front. Empty shelves. Wow. Just had to show some of this. Empty. 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 What the hell is going on? Empty. Over now. Here we are in the veggie aisles. Empty over there. Empty shelves. Empty shelves. Empty shelves. I got this thing the last time. Oh, wow, that's a good deal. Look at this, guys. Okay, Island Prepper here again. Uh, so, we're on day three of Hurricane Fiona. And we finally got a rhythm established that we figured out. So, I got that one running. And it's pretty much running the whole house. I had this one plugged in at 7 in the morning, cocked out about uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So it ran 5 hours, maybe 6 hours I would say, can't, can't get an exact time on it. Plugged this one in uh, about an hour ago, it said it had 5 hours run time. So we're doing 775 watts approximately. Okay. So this will run for another 4 hours, 4 and a half hours. Okay, at 120. Then I got my small generator charging that one, which will charge in five hours. So by the time the other one's out, this one should be ready. So what I did last night is to turn on the air conditioning. I ran my uh, iPower and I connected it to my house to run the air conditioning. But I also connected the EcoFlow. This morning around six in the morning, that ran out of gas. EcoFlow ran the house from then on. So actually I wait about an hour because my room is nice and cool. So uh, that ran the house till about two o'clock and now I got the other one running it. So basically I'm alternating them one by one. Now, here's the thing. They're running, let's say 10 to 11 hours between the both of them after I found my rhythm. There is one issue. I'm running them down to zero. You're supposed to only run them down to 20% so they can last longer. Now, because this is an emergency, and it's a hurricane and we have no power and this is a, a real live use of, uh, of, the, of the actual product, okay? Under real emergency services, okay? So, uh, and it's raining for three days straight now, nonstop. Okay, so the solar panels are no good, plus the solar panels are set up for 300 volts and 3,000 watts, so I've got to break them up and set them up individually so I could use the solar panels to charge them. But, here's the deal. If I ran it to 20%, I'd only get eight hours between the both of them. Eight hours is really not enough considering there's 24 hours in a, in a day and a night series, okay? So that's not good. I would need five of these, or six, excuse me, six of them to run in a 24-hour period, charging a couple at a time. Anyway, so, here's the deal. I have $350 550 altogether and another 400 that makes $950 that I spent on all of these and these if I were to buy them in Puerto Rico would have been $10,000 five grand a piece plus the connectors okay so because you can buy them on Amazon if you live in the States they're 300 uh, $3,700 three, uh, 3699 each then whatever the shipping is that they charge you there and whatever the taxes is that they charge you there you're still looking at eight thousand dollars after you get the goodies to go with it and that's without the other batteries so is it a good value for the money no is it environmentally friendly no and i'm going to tell you why it costs just as much gas or fuel or or how can i say co2 exhaust to produce both of these batteries between digging out the uh, or, or let's say mining the battery source, the, the uh, 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 what do they call it, lithium, producing it, 
all the employees driving to the shops, building these things, importing them, the gas to take them from China to here. No. <laughs> the same shit. No matter how you look at it. So you know what? You're not in a Prius. This isn't environmentally friendly. It's the same thing, except they're charging you up the wazoo. This whole electric car thing, I don't think it's going to work. I was just watching a whole Tesla uh, series where the guy goes from Orlando, Florida to Georgia, someplace in Georgia. He had to stop four times to fill up in that one trip, whereas a car with a good tank and even an eight-cylinder engine, 500 miles to the tank. He could only get 200 miles to the battery charge. And then each time he had to go out and eat while his battery was charged. Uh, so, listen, uh, I am uh, all for saving the environment. I am for doing everything to reduce my carbon footprint. Uh, this is not the way to do it. It's not ready yet. So, like I said, if you count the carbon footprint it takes to manufacture the solar panel, the wiring, and to produce this or any other battery it's just as bad as having three generators running on gas by the way i've only used 10 gallons of gas in three days so that's not bad so if i'm looking at that i'm doing okay i'm i'm, I'm actually doing a better footprint than by using the batteries so are these bad no if you can afford them damn great job get the extra two batteries to go with it if you can afford them but, you know, if, if you're middle class and you, you have a, a, a good income but nothing out of this world, you know, it's not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. You can do much better with, 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 with the gas generators. And five minutes, I got them full up again. See those uh, five-gallon tanks? I just filled all three of these up in about ten minutes all together. So I'm ready for tonight and tomorrow all together. And it cost me... Uh, $35 in gas. And that's at today's prices. Anyway, Island Prepper over now. Island Prepper. Day 5 of Maria. Post Maria. I mean, Fiona. Where the hell did Maria come from? Anyway, that's how these hurricanes got me. So we have water on day 5, finally. And here we go. This is... My uh, Delta Pro, two hours left of a 41%. Connected it about 7 this morning, 7.30 this morning. So we're looking at it. it's 11 o'clock right now. We've been running uh, pretty much all morning long. It's got two hours left to go. My other Delta Pro is charging right now with my uh, 2300 watt max inverter generator. That's been since I took that one on. I started charging this one. And I got 46 minutes left to go. I'm at 89%. It's charging at 799 watts. The inverter generator seems to be running smooth today. It usually runs a little bit rough when it's charging something like this. But that, uh, on one gallon, will run for another five, six hours and be able to charge this one too. So I'll switch them out. I have not connected my solar panels to these yet because number one, we've had a lot of rain, cloudy days, and I'm not sure if it's worth disconnecting it all and then reconnecting again after the lights come back. I also don't know when it's gonna come back. This one here ran, turned it on around 10.30 last night. And till 7.30, I shut it off. I still have gas in it, it was still running. So, but I shut off my air conditioning again. This is 240 volts, 2200. I was actually been able to, uh, well, not last night, but the night before, run this, run my air conditioning, and plug in my uh, in, uh, Delta Pro to here and charge that at the same time I was running the whole house. Okay, pretty good uh, generator. It's very loud, but cover it up with some wood panels helps out a little bit uh, and uh, it runs the whole house man for four hundred dollars that I paid for this thing it's worth every penny so I didn't think it was gonna work out that good and again that's my black max over there 
It's the best generator I have. 14 hours, four gallons of gas, a little loud, but man, runs the whole house and also charges that. So, but from what I understand, you're not supposed to use these because they're not inverter generators. You're supposed to use inverters only to charge these up. So, but I haven't had any damage to them. They work just fine. Uh, the only thing I say is low runtime, a lot of money. So I got 10 hours of runtime for $10,000. It's $1,000 an hour. Uh, it does not pay for itself. So uh, it's only affordable if you can afford it. Other than that, it's not really a good deal. Now, am I glad I have it? Hell yeah, I'm glad I have it. Great. They don't even allow these in condos right now, just so you know. So, because they're saying uh, lithium batteries can catch fire, but um, they're trying to pass a law where they're going to give a temporary approval to put them in condos. Anyway, over and out to the next one, okay? Day five of Hurricane Fiona. Day five. 7.30 in the morning, just shut off my gas generator and turn this puppy on. It's just 16 hours there, it'll just in a little bit, go down to about six hours. As soon as I turn on the TV, coffee pot again, all that. Anyway, here's the one, the other one for backup. I charged them both overnight, and they're ready for the morning. And this is day five after Maria. I mean, Fiona. Man, seven in the morning, I'm not even thinking straight. Okay, it is now currently 10, 10, and it's been running for three hours. I'm at 58%, I'm running at 525 watts right now, and I still have four hours left to go. It's a great machine. And uh, my backup load it yesterday still at a hundred percent so off ah! all right just had to show this because right now it's showing I'm putting in 2400 watts that I'm working with it's not even vibrating nothing that uh, inverter generator is charging this here at 800 watts 12% five hours to go. But with this one, I am running washer, dryer, my whole house, as you can see, connected to my whole house, and my air fryer. Check that out. That's where all the big wattage is being pulled. That's 370 watts is running. Or, or temperature, excuse me, degrees. Plus, again, back there, those two lights in my freezer, fridge, and my other fridge. It's all running. Fan, in the room. Unbelievable. And this little light. I know it's a little loud, I wanna show this real quick. So what I'm doing is charging it. So we got uh, 1,600 watts coming in, and then 580 watts going out, running my house. So I can actually run the house while it is charging at double the wattage. So not bad. It says three hours to charge time. Day 11, we finally got lights back. Came out about an hour ago. My neighbor had to call me to tell me to shut off that damn loud uh, <laughs> generator I have. Anyway, but we finally got it. Amen. The lights are back again, finally. This is how we could tell. Those lights work, we have power. Anyway, finally, let's hope it stays on all night. Well, today is day 12. We got our power back yesterday time to clean up the mess after Fiona then I'll be doing a video on this anyway we should get this all set up